It is March 21, the first day of the spring, and I know many of you people are under certain restrictions in your countries. I hope this video will help you to keep dreaming about better days to come. Sailing Noir is a 37-meter steel hull motorsailer that was built in 2007. She is Rina Klast. Sailing Noir is now offered for sale from her first original owner. Designed as a modern gullet by naval architect Ibrahim Karatash and Nauta Yachts from Milan, Italy. Sailing Noir will accommodate nine guests in four large cabins and has a good accommodation for five crew. Her exceptional wide beam of 8.6 meter is offering great space both under and above deck. She has catch rigging that was made by Marshall from France and with total sail area of 630 square meter. With 14,000 liters of fuel and with super economic 450 horsepower Cummins main engines, she will cover a range of 1,600 nautical miles while under power at 10 knots. To learn more about Sailing Noir, visit her webpage by using the link at the video description below or click now the card that appear now on the top part of your screen. This channel is about yachts for sale located in Turkey and sold internationally. We visit and inspect every yacht we list for sale. So we are starting this video in the bow, looking at the bow spirit, very long bow spirit. Beautiful sitting area with two tables. We have two anchor winches here from Data. Uh, each one of them has a chain with a length of 140 meters and the anchor weighs 250 kilo. Here we can see the crane which uh, can launch the small dinghy which is normally located here. I asked the captain to remove it to allow us to see more space area. <clears throat> now this boat is really unique by her beam. The beam is 8.6 meter and this is what is giving this beautiful spacious deck area. You can see, imagine how many people can lie down and relax here. <coughs> The rigging of this boat is catch rigging. It was constructed uh, by Marshall from France. It's in very good condition. The stays are roads, stainless steel roads in very good condition. Now there is uh, one steering station here inside. We will visit it while being inside. And another one uh, at the top of the superstructure, which we will see very soon. Uh, these are the stairs which are leading to the water. This door is open, this uh, barrier. And there is electrical motor here which release the whole thing and by that uh, it's becoming a stairs directing to the water. One door here leading to the salon and the steering station. The boat is in fantastic condition. Just finished her winter maintenance. You can see the, the varnishing, new varnishing. Everything is spotless. <clears throat> Moving backwards, another amazing spacious area. Here you can really see how beamy this boat is. Great table for eight people. If needed, can accommodate 10 people.
amazing sunbathing area and back here there are davits for the larger dinghy for the bigger dinghy and hydraulic passerelle moving a little bit forward additional seating areas here and beautiful seating area here which is sheltered from from the wind in case it's windy and just uh, want to be sheltered from the wind we are going left and climbing four stairs this is the helm station for the captain first we can see how open and good view it provides now here is the helm station we'll go quickly over it there is a VHF here um, two plotters from Simrad one is adjusted now as a chart plotter second one is a radar engine controllers here uh, autopilot bow thruster throttles uh, two flash uh, searchlights um, and everything basically uh, the captain needs to navigate safely this boat okay let's go to see the interior so we are starting now from the in the interior there is a beautiful big huge salon here and not like uh, many other boats the design the interior design is very light and white uh, some of these boats uh, gullet designs are very dark but this one is very modern design <coughs> nice intimate uh, salon seating area and on the starboard side there is a dining table here at the entrance there is a small uh, working office area now here there is a small um, serving area which includes a wine fridge here <coughs> another frigidaire here small sink coffee machines and plenty of storage areas now we will start from the stern accommodation and going down a few stairs there are two guest rooms here and the master cabin at the stern full beam so we start with a starboard guest room guest cabin it's a double bed very nice cabin a lot of storage spaces hanging drawer <coughs> drawers plenty of drawers and and sweet The sink, toilet, bidet, and white shower. <clears throat> Moving to the port side guest room, guest cabin, and that's a twin guest cabin 
again very nice modern design uh, light colored and its own sweet sink toilet bidet and again very large shower Now from here, we will go uh, backwards to the stern. Just before we cross it, we can see there is an emergency hatch here with ladder. Uh, this is the time to remind you that this boat is Rena class, fully under Rena class, and um, following all the rules of Rena. So that's the master cabin full beam master cabin very wide here there is a sink and toilet and bidet washroom and here there is a huge space with a very big bedroom uh, and the bed is located in a way that uh, you can see so much view from the stern just to give you an idea at our present location this is the view that you can see from the windows while anchoring very close to the shore the the water in most of the places in South Turkey are very deep so therefore even a boat like this with four meter draft can anchor very very close to the shore we are probably maximum 20 meter from the coastline okay now there is a there is a shower here Sitting shower also. Okay. So that was the master uh, suite, which is very spacious. Um, and we are moving forward climbing again the stairs going to the salon and moving forward quick look at the helm here fully equipped helm uh, as I showed before uh, similar to the one which is at the outside but with bigger screens uh, pretty much the same equipped bow thruster autopilot engine controllers VHF and also some uh, indication about uh, uh, watertight doors um, bilge alarms and so on as you can see here and a beautiful view outside that the people who stay in the salon can enjoy it's a beautiful uh, first day of the spring in Turkey it's March 21 the sea is totally empty during the virus uh, yeah, hopefully better days will come soon. So, now we are moving for the forward accommodation and crew area. It is starting here with quite unusual space, which is uh, 
kind of a TV room very nice place to gather or to separate guests from the one who are sitting who are staying in the salon here is the TV so it's a perfect uh, place to watch TV play Sony PlayStation or just uh, relax now here is the four cabin of this boat it's a twin cabin again very spacious and what makes a difference here that there is another bed here a Pullman bed which can accommodate uh, the ninth guest if needed good storage area a lot of uh, covers from the outside has been stored now due to the fact that we are making this video and drawers and uh, and sweet sink be there toilet and again very wide bathroom uh, shower now from here we will move further to the bow and behind this door starting the crew accommodation this is the door which can separate the guest from the crew accommodation what we have here is a small service uh, corner that has a um, dryer washing machine and a lot of storage um, with from cleaning materials and so on here um, this is the, the the captain's cabin very nice captain's cabin uh, with a small double bed his own TV a bathroom and a small office with laptop printer which uh, the captain can run from here all the accounting of the boat and managing uh, the boat now we are moving forward uh, a little bit more there is a single um, single cabin here that can be used for chief stewardess or for the engineer uh, and moving forward through the corridor this is uh, the bathroom which is used by this cabin that we just passed and it is also shared by the next cabin for two crew which is here this door here leads to the same bathroom and the last crew accommodation is this one again with another two beds and private uh, bathroom which includes shower toilet and sink now from at the end of this corridor there is a ladder with a hatch that leads to the to the deck so therefore for many of the, of the operations the crew doesn't have to pass from the guest areas okay we are moving uh, all the way back uh, along this corridor and I would like to show you now the galley ah, this is another nice view of this TV room and we will move backwards to see the galley and finally the engine room now this is a, a huge um, space for the crew um, to take a rest when not on shift or to have the, the meals there is a big screen here which present all the cameras on board so if any one of the crew members are on shift during the times when the boat is in the port he can watch things from here and here is the galley it's a very very big galley 
there are two freezers here and big fridge great surface here for working and another two fridges here behind this drawer from Beko <coughs> there is a combined uh, microwave, microwave and grill from Gagenau commercial style uh, oven from Gagenau also commercial style and look at this it's a huge galley that can serve the guests and the crew comfortably and efficiently okay now there there is another uh, dishwasher here from Gaggenau two sinks plenty of storage spaces all around And there is a stove here with four fires and another frying surface uh, for eggs, meat, whatever. Very big uh, ventilation system here from Gagenau as well. And here another extra sink with again tons of storage spaces. Moving from here backwards to our last station, which is the engine room. So let's see the engine room. In the heart of this engine room, there are two Cummins uh, main engine, each with 450 horsepower. Uh, at the moment with 2,500 hours. There are also two generators here from Kohler. One here, starboard. Yeah, what the other one there, the port side. Uh, each with 44 kilowatts power and with about 500,000 hours uh, running hours. Small, good station uh, of working, maintenance here. Water maker here uh, that provides 150 liter per hour. The boat also has uh, water tanks in the capacity of 9,000 liters. So there will be no, never a shortage of water here. Um, air conditioning system down here. And uh, swage water system. Another look at the engine room from different angle. You might also notice the huge uh, vent system here. We have two vents like this, one here, the other one uh, on the starboard side, this one. Electrical panels for the generators and shore power. Back there, uh, battery chargers, inverters. So, this is Sailing Noir. Beautiful steel hull motor yacht, 37 meter. Can accommodate up to nine guests. If you want to learn more about this boat, uh, you can click the, the link at the video description below, which will take you to the yacht page at our website. There you will find many photos and full specification list and also a way to contact us. Thanks for watching this and if you like this video, please do subscribe to this channel.